Um, as Saeed has already eloquently pointed out today, the UK is a major supporter of the Bahraini regime and a very steady supplier of armaments and weaponry to the Bahraini government. The, government in, the UK government indeed lists Bahrain as a core market for arms sales, despite some of the flagrant human rights abuses that we've been hearing about today. In 2011, the UK temporarily withdrew a few of its arms export licenses to Bahrain in light of the huge, huge repression. But this was only after a public outcry and sadly, business as usual resumed almost immediately. The UK has in fact continued to license the sale of weaponry of the type used in the 2011 repression. Some of the UK sales to Bahrain include fighter trainer aircraft and transport aircraft. And in 2013, the UK government made a major but unsuccessful push to sell the Eurofighter Typhoon combat aircraft to the Bahraini government. It's also um, provided significant training to the Bahraini military and internal security forces. And as we've recently found out, Huddersfield University have been hugely involved in training um, staff at one of the major torture centers in Bahrain. Now, this relationship and the business interests of arms companies has led the UK government to offer uncritical support for the repressive Bahraini regime. And at Campaign Against Arms Road, we're really proud to be here today to stand in solidarity and call for the freedom of all Bahraini people and to tell the UK it's time to stop arming repression.